So, Jackie, thank you for coming back firstly onto the Soul Sync podcast. My pleasure. So, this is a very exciting episode because you're going to take us today on a guided meditation. Tell us a bit about the meditation and what we're going to do and what we're hoping to achieve as a result of this. I thought long and hard about what kind of meditation to do. And I'm going to do something that's possibly a little bit different. And this guided meditation will be almost like an inner reflection. So it's going to be for you to look at, and your listeners, where they are within their own soul growth and a little bit of a reunion within that, maybe with somebody they'd like to meet with. But we'll get to that bit during it. I think sometimes in our journey of mediumship, a lot of times, we get so caught up with wanting to develop, wanting to develop, that we forget at times just to take a pause, to look within and say, okay, what's going on within me? Where am I sabotaging my own development and growth? Where am I not... um listening to that voice within and so we we get on this treadmill of develop 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 exercise 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 and every now and again it's just healthy to pull back and go okay what's going on within me how am I feeling within this that sounds so wonderful, Jackie. I'm really excited. Um, I must just I say, as let you know, don't be too excited. Oh, honestly, <laughs> um, just to tell people as well that um, Jackie was our first ever guest on the Soul Sing, and her interview is absolutely amazing. And if you just go back, you can listen to all of Jackie's backstory and everything like that. So that's just to remind people that there is that episode there. Anyway, without further ado, Jackie, I'll hand over to you. Okay, thank you. So what I would like you to do just to begin with is to ensure that your body is comfortable. And I don't really go along with the myths of how we should sit or or be. I just want you to know you're in a comfortable place, a safe place. I want you to understand that there is nothing that needs to disturb you. So I want you to find what that means to you, to you personally. I then want you to give yourself permission to let go of all the worries and wars that may have been plaguing you throughout your day. Whatever those worries are, put them on the shelf, put them to one side. You can always collect them at the end. But let's just affirm that this time is a time just for you, for nobody else, just for you. And then gently allow your eyes to close. And for a moment, just follow the rhythm of your breath. Don't change your rhythm, just follow it. Allow your brain to observe the rise and the fall of the chest. And as you do this, just affirm to yourself that each breath just allows the brain to relax. And relax. And it may well be that as you close your eyes, Within your mind, you start to become quite active. There may be colours. There may be memories. Don't fight them. Your brain is just doing its job. But rather than fight, just encourage the brain to come back to the rhythm of breath. The breathing in, the breathing out. And with each breath, we relax. On this journey that we will go on together, I want you to remember that you are never going to be alone. I will be with you. And I want you to be secure in that. I will say to you, I would like you to see. 
but we remember we are not all visual mediums. So if you're just aware, know that that is good enough. Following that breath and relaxing with each breath. And within your mind right now, I would like you to see yourself standing at the top of a staircase. A very large and very grand staircase. Feel your feet firmly on that top step. As you join me in going down each step slowly. As we step down from 10 to 9. And then we relax to 8. Step down to seven, going deeper to six, deeper and deeper, stepping down to five, relax to four, moving on to three, stepping down to two, and finally to one. And as you step off this staircase, you find yourself in your very own spiritual garden. A garden that belongs just to you. And your spiritual garden cannot be like anybody else's. It reflects you personally. So I want you to slowly walk around your garden and ask yourself how you would like it to look. What would you like to create within that garden? Maybe you would like trees. And if so, what kind? Maybe you would like a water feature or a waterfall. Do you want flowers? And if so, what kind? Keep walking and keep creating. How do you want your spiritual garden to be? As you walk, you become aware that there is a bench close by. Shall we take just a moment to sit on this bench and survey what you have already created? Look around. Is it looking the way you want it? Maybe. Maybe you're starting to see some decay or debris. Are the leaves falling from the trees? Is there weeds growing beneath and around your flowers? Maybe some of the flowers' heads have died away. I want you now to stand from the bench and go and gather all that debris. Bring it together in one big pile. But as you do so, I want you to give each part a name. Maybe the fallen leaves can be grief. Maybe the weeds can be jealousy or envy. Think carefully about what label you want to give them as you bring them together. Remember it's your garden, so the your emotions that you are gathering together. What is it that's stopping your garden blossoming in a beautiful way? Take a moment to do that. 
And as you collect it all together in one big pile, I would like you now to set it alight. So there is one giant bonfire. And then go and sit back on the bench. And as you sit there and you watch the flames as they dance in front of you, Know that this fire is transforming all that negativity and carrying it away. Just allow your gaze to rest on the flames. As you do so, you become aware of somebody standing behind you. Somebody you've known all your life. But maybe, to this point, you have not yet met. Feel their love for you. Feel their presence. Don't worry about gender or nationality. Don't seek a physical description. Just feel that unconditional love. Allow it to envelop you. Maybe it is the first time that you have ever felt an unconditional love. A love that requires nothing from you but to know that you a loved. Feel that. And your friend, your mentor, comes to join you on the bench. And as you sit together, there is no need for words. Just sit and enjoy the presence and the strength of your mentor. And it is here that I will leave you for just a short time.
you become aware that the fire has long since gone out. And as you look around, you can see that night time is coming. So with your mentor, your friend, stand from the bench and take them for a walk around your garden. Show them the hard work you have put in into making your spiritual self strong and free from all that negativity. Walk round and show off your garden with pride. For you are knowing now that you are not your past. You are not the labels others have given you. But you are a strong spiritual being that is loved, so loved by that unseen world. So walk around with pride. Very soon, you come back to that familiar staircase. And it is here that you will say goodbye to your friend. Not a permanent goodbye. For you know that you can always return to this place, this sacred place, and have this reunion once again. So take a moment to say your goodbyes. As we turn our attention now back to that staircase and slowly and carefully we begin our journey home. Coming up one, two, three. Being aware of those steps beneath your feet. Four, five and six. You start to become more aware of your physical self. The heaviness of your body in the chair. Seven, eight. Now your awareness is coming around to the room that you're sitting in. Nine, ten. Your awareness is back now. And it may be that that spiritual garden feels like a memory. But I don't want you to hurry back. Just take a moment. Stretch. Move your fingers and toes. But recall that sense of love. That genuine power of love that was given to you and know that you are loved unconditionally and in your own time carefully open your eyes and be accustomed once again to the energy around you There we go, Soul Sync. That was the incredible Jackie Wright taking us through that guided meditation. 